Hey y'all, welcome, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. My name is Tasha. So today for project number one, I decided to do some sunflower signs. So for the first one here, I'm just going to be using that de de bleh, distressed ink and um, that also that oxide, that one oxide ink and one little spray here. Um, and then I'm just doing it like this at first. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to get these confused and mixed up. But you'll see how I kind of sort of fix that. Now I am using some book sheet paper that I ripped out of a book. Um, if you guys would like to watch that video, I will link it down in my description box. Um, it is a farmhouse book that I created. And... Um, I ripped out some pages and made some pockets and stuff like that. So I'll leave it down in the description box for you. But see here, now we have a little assembly line going on. I feel like I work better like that. And I'm sorry if you can hear any noise in my video from my family in my house. My husband is upstairs on the phone. The washer and dryer is still going. You know, so real life here, folks. So after I got all these... Um, done here I did take this little foam and just cut me out some like little petals and then um, I'm using some brown to kind of make the middle now I'm just using some I think it's Dr. Martin's ink here in black just doing some splatters all over like so love it and then I just blew everything everywhere. <laughs> and now I'm also using the Dr. Martens in the white. And then I like to save every little thing that I can off to the side here like so. <laughs> On these different book papers like this. And then of course I clean up my mess. Now this ring, I got this, I think it was from Hobby Lobby. And I just had the hardest time getting anything to want to um I don't know it just kept like soaking in and disappearing soaking in and then I just kept trying all different colors maybe that worked eventually it finally did after I used like almost every single color I had here <laughs> you'll see I even mixed in some gesso just to kind to kind of you know see if that worked added some black you know because I did add black um dots everywhere as well so here we go even trying the yellow and the orange and yeah I finally just gave up so sorry I had to push pause there for a second um I forgot to turn off the notification on my phone so I wanted to make sure that was off so here we go finally done i just gave up i was like you know what i've tried every color every color soaking in it is what it is and we're gonna roll with it so next i'm taking this ink and going around all of the edges here like so and then i'm using my three in one tack here to adhere the petals down and then i was like oh wait i need to put the little ones on first so that's what I like about the tack and not the hot glue because I would have probably ripped the paper with hot glue. But that tack so reminds me of hot glue. You just have to, um, you don't even have to really do much. It just, it just dries really fast. So now that I've used all the green colors here, I am going to just um, draw out a couple of leaves here and a good size stem and that little piece right there wasn't quite dry so i had to fix it but and then i went around the stem also with a little bit of that um, brown i think it's walnut stain or something i think that's what it's called but i really like it and then i do that whole sign now that sign i picked up from I believe it was Target, you guys. I don't remember. I think it. Sh I showed you at the beginning. It's It's got one side is like that brown color and the other side is the white color. I have a bunch of them. 
I'm not even sure what year I picked that up in. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for this part. And then um, I'm taking a piece of this paper that I've already used up quite a bit here, using some white gesso just to kind of soften the words on there. So my words don't kind of get lost here on this um, project. And you guys, I am loving the colors here. This is giving me such autumn vibes. I'm loving it. And I hope you guys are leaving here with a little bit of autumn vibes from this project here. But now I'm using some pop dots here. Those, the little saying on there, I just printed off from my computer, you guys. And, and then I forgot, um, I loved it how it was. And then I added dots and then I used my Blendy tool. And I forgot that these are not permanent, that that wasn't the permanent one that I meant to grab. So it just blended in the black everywhere, but it's okay. I just went with it. I wasn't going to redo it. But that is it for this first project, and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so we are going to talk about today's collaboration, What Would You Make? The host is Zaina at OK at Home. DIY and the other host is Connie's Woodshop and DIYs. These are some amazing crafters and their guest host today is Amanda from Six Kids in a Glue Gun and I will have them linked down in my description box along with our playlist. Okay guys so we're gonna hop right into project number two and I'm just using this circle on this um, white cardstock paper. I actually bought a big pack of it from Amazon a long time ago. Um, so that's where I got it. And then I'm using some clear gesso here to prep my page. But what I did forget is inks and gesso don't go very well together. Like I should have done the inks first and then the gesso. But you know, it's been a while since I've done some mixed media stuff. So we're just going to roll with it, right? Because I don't want to be wasteful. And I'm like, it's not working, it's not moving, it's not doing anything. That's because I accidentally used the clear gesso first. <laughs> and this isn't watercolor, watercolor paper either. Okay, so now we're going to lighten up all those really harsh lines that you can see from my brush with some white gesso now. And I'm just using my finger, you guys. This is really um, healing, it, it kind of, you know, just soothes, soothes me using my finger and I really like making art. So here we are. <laughs> Pretty simple. Maybe one day you guys will try this and see if you like to do something like this. But I really love it. It's called mixed media art. So then I'm using my watercolor set. I also ordered that from Amazon a long time ago. I've used it a few times already but I am really wanting to put this bad boy to use and I am loving these blues, you guys. Ugh, these are amazing. And I'm just doing some splatters in the background like so. Okay, so I got this sunflower stencil from Joggles. I ordered it off their website and then I traced it out and now I went around it with a permanent black ink. Then I used the clear gesso then I'm just going to hand draw on some leaves here. So each of those sunflowers have a stem, you know, and a leaf to it. And I just love this. And then I did go over the stems twice and the leaves twice just to make it pop a little bit more and to thicken up the lines a little bit. And then on that um, taller like the bigger one there I didn't like the first leaf that kind of I made so I just exited it out and I'm going to carry on upwards and draw out another leaf to see if I like that better and I do I like it a lot better so that's what I end up doing okay so I'm going to use some clear gesso as well over top of this like so and then I am going to use some watercolor to paint in the sunflowers. And it doesn't matter if I go outside the lines or anything like that, because I am going to cut all of these out, obviously. But um, I'm just going to show you how I do it. 
and I didn't use water first, just straight up watercolor. And then I spritz it with water and then pat it up with another paper that I can use another time in another DIY. Who knows when though. <laughs> then I dry in between doing different colors. Um, that first one was like an orangey color and then I'm just doing a bright yellow now. Loving it. Super cute. Sometimes when you splat it up, you take up a little too much. You just keep adding what you, what you want until you like it. And then I'm using a little bit of orange in the middle here, like so. Didn't use a lot of that. And then I'm doing little splatters and little dots with the burnt umber color here. Splat it up. And then I use my finger just to kind of dab in spots that I didn't really care for. And that's it for that one. And then I'm going to wipe up my mess so I don't get those splatters on my next part here for the stems. And I just use different waters, kind of like, kind of like the same exact thing as I did for the sunflowers. Um, yeah, this is pretty fun and pretty easy. And I absolutely love this. You guys will have to let me know which one is going to be your favorite today, you guys. I'm loving it all. All the sunflower vibes I can get. It's August, almost August here, and all the sunflowers are out and bloomed here in South Dakota. They grow wildly here, so I just love it, and it just gave me the inspiration to make some sunflower stuff, you guys. And then I go over top of this again with some gesso, and it kind of pulled up some of those splatters, and now it kind of made it look like rain, I think. <laughs> And then I'm using this stencil that I just recently ordered from Tiamu, and I'm using some modeling paste from Hobby Lobby here with my palette knife. And this is just going to give it a raised texture, a little, it's a really thin, you know, because these little um, Tiamu stencils are pretty thin. So it's going to give me a thin, not a like really thick layer. So I like that. And then I let it dry, not completely, of course. I tried to dry it as fast as I could because this did take a long time to make. And now I'm using my handy dandy glue stick, my favorite thing to glue with in my craft room. It is so easy to use it and it's super fast and it's never given me a problem. Now, I've never used it over top of this uh, modeling paste, so we'll see how that one turns out. Just love this, you guys. This is just amazing in itself. And then I take these cool little scissors. I forget what they're called, but um, they leave like a cool little edging around the sides instead of just like a scissor cut. But now, yep, this thing came from Target. I see the little thingy on there. But I went around the edges with some black ink. Now I'm using some um, gel medium glue to glue this down. It's just a thicker glue that works better than, it's kind of like Mod Podge, but a little better. Like this. And that's it, you guys. I did go around the edges on that um, picture as well. And now I'm making a little seine here. I'm just using some cordigade, cord, I don't know how you say that, paper from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm using a sentiment basically that I printed out on my computer here. And then I'm going to use some pop dots from the Dollar Tree and some of that tacky glue to glue this down. And that's it, you guys. You'll have to let me know if this was your favorite project today. I'm just loving that the first one was autumn and this one's kind of like summer vibes. So I'm going to take a moment to say thank you to the host for having me here on the playlist today. I appreciate y'all. And thank you to my subscribers that's been with me since the start. You guys are amazing as well. Okay, so project number three. This is my last project today. And I think I got that little sign from the Dollar Tree, but I absolutely cannot remember where it came from. I actually have like four of them, I think, <laughs> in my stash. I have a huge stash, you guys. If you haven't seen my craft room, um, remake. I redid my entire craft room. It looked like a hoarder house in here. 
to um, a completely organized craft room. I'm just loving it. It's it's wanting me. It's giving me these cool vibes to just keep crafting and creating as before. I didn't even want to come down here, so I'm loving it. So I'm taking this watercolor paper and these watercolor crowns. Um, and just doing a little bit of watercoloring because if you didn't know, I love to watercolor. It's one of my favorite things to do besides drawing like faces and stuff or whatever, just drawing in general. Um, it, I really like doing watercolor as well. And now I'm just using a few different blues here all over, spritz it with water back and forth, back and forth like so. I like to start out with the lightest color. And then moving up to the darkest color, of course, like you see me doing here. And water is key in this. I just use lots of water, pretty much. <laughs> and then I just soak it off onto a paper towel. I'm using the black to make a little bit of splatters like this. And then I tried to use the white to do some splatters too, but the white didn't really take as well as I thought it would. So I wouldn't even worry about the white. And you can't even see it in the video. <laughs> and then I just pat up the rest of the stuff here. And um, what do I do next? Oh, yes. the My stamps. These are my favorite stamps I like to use in my projects a lot. One of them is a music stamp. And the other one just says something I can't even read. It's so tiny. <laughs> Love to use them in the background. Okay. So I'm using this piece of watercolor paper and a yellow orange and like a darker orange now the piece that i cut off there i actually made a farmhouse video not too long ago a mixed media farmhouse video and i put one of those little highland cows from the dollar tree on there and put it on a project okay sorry about that my husband had to come down and ask me something real quick but yeah i'll leave um if you guys want to check that video go I can't talk now. If you guys want to check that video out, you sure can. It's it's a mixed media fabric um, DIY collaboration that I did with some other crafters. So if you need some more inspiration, I will link that down in my description box. I also made like a cool book and that's where you see all these papers that I have. The like book paper, I ripped out um, a lot of the book pages. But now I'm just using the stencil here. I also order this stencil from joggles.com and here I'm using some distressed ink and at first I was like oh this isn't working and I added water and it started working because that stencil the sunflowers weren't all the way connected and I wanted them to connected all the way and it's really easy to use a watercolor brush with just a little bit of water like this and then I'm going to cut out the entire thing um, much better than this, obviously. <laughs> and then I go around the edges of the watercolor paper here with that black ink as well. I think it's called black soot. And then I did cut me out a little stem for this as well. Super cute. Super, super cute. I love this. You guys will have to let me know today was DIY one, two, or three your favorite one today i just i love all three i can't choose because i love sunflowers that much obviously i'll name my channel after sunflowers <laughs> and then i took this um cardstock paper that i had printed out on the computer my husband did here he um helped me do that and I go around the edges with a jelly roll pen, you guys. And then I'm using my handy dandy glue stick. And that's it for this DIY, you guys. God is love. Yes, he is. I absolutely love this. Okay, so here is the final reveal, you guys. I hope all of you enjoyed today's video. And I want to say thank you to Zaina, Connie, and Amanda. For having this playlist today I appreciate you guys so so much you guys have really helped grow my channel and it's super amazing to become friends with you guys God will never let us down love it I'm loving the autumn vibes here this one oh, it's just so beautiful as well I just love it look at those edgings 
Look at all that detail. It's just beautiful. I love these sunflowers. They turned out super adorable. Disappointments are just God's way of saying, I've got something better. Just remember that when you have hard days, something better is coming. And then God is love. Look at all those details too in the background. It's just so beautiful. Turned out absolutely amazing. And I'm loving that I'm taking mixed media to a whole nother level that I haven't really seen a lot of people do. And that's turning it into decor. So is this one your favorite? This one your favorites? Or is it going to be this one? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I want to say thank you again for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Sunflower Tasha DIYs or Sunflower Tasha DIYs Gallery. I have two different um, ones. Bye, guys.